Welcome to Electron Online, and now we're going to see the effect of a voltmeter and a current meter on a circuit that has a relatively large load resistor. Again, the load resistor typically represents the device or the resistance of the circuit in general, and in quite a few cases that can be quite large in reference to the internal resistance of the voltmeter. And yes, there will be an effect because of that. So let's see how we can figure this out. Well, first of all, what we're going to do is we're going to try and find the parallel resistance of this because I want to show you that since the internal resistance of the battery is very small compared to the uh, resistance, the internal resistance of the voltmeter, that in essence we can ignore the resistance that the voltmeter contributes to the circuit because it's in parallel to that very small resistance. Let me show you. So the resistance in parallel with the voltmeter resistance and the internal resistance of the battery that would be equal to the product over the sum so it would be the product the internal resistance times the resistance of the voltmeter divided by the internal resistance plus the resistance of the voltmeter so that's how we figure out the parallel resistance when there's only two branches in the in the uh, circuit so we have 1 ohm multiplied times 20,000 ohms divided by 1 ohm plus 20,000 ohms. And so what will that be equal to? Let's see here. Uh, that would be uh, 20,000 divided by 20,001. And you can see that's almost equal to 1 ohm, just about the same. So it's 0 0.99995. ohms. Oop. Let's make that a nice ohm symbol. And of course, that's the same as saying one ohm right there. So you see that the resistance of the, of the battery is in essence one ohm, irregardless of whether or not we put a voltmeter in parallel or not. You can see that the effect is virtually insignificant. All right, now, what will then be the current to the circuit? What will be the current that the current meter picks up? So we know that the current, by definition, using Ohm's law is equal to voltage divided by the total resistance. And the voltage will be the voltage provided by the EMF divided by the total resistance going around the circuit. And we can just ignore the resistance of the voltmeter. That will be uh, the resistance of the load resistor plus the internal resistance plus the resistance of the current meter. Now again, the current meter internal resistance is really, really small. So in essence, we could pretty well ignore that one as well. So we could just say that's no longer significant in comparison to the large ro load resistor. So this is equal to 5 volts divided by 10,000 ohms for the load resistor plus 1 ohm for the internal resistance. And in that respect, you can see that the internal resistance also becomes insignificant because 1 ohm is so small compared to 10,000 ohms. So in essence, it's just basically, we can just ignore that one as well, because it basically say it's 5 volts divided by 10,000 ohms. You can see that the current therefore will be 5 times 10 to the minus 4 amps, which is 0 0.5 milliamps. All right, so that's what the current meter will read right here. It'll be 0 0.5 milliamps, read by the current meter. Now, what will be the voltage across the battery? So we can say that the voltage from A to B across the battery is equal to the EMF minus the voltage drop across the internal resistance of the battery. So that's R times I, or I times R, I think we like to write the I before the R, as a general rule. So I times R, and so it would be 5 volts minus the current, which we saw here was 0 0.5 milliamps, multiplied times the internal resistance of 1 ohm. So you can see in this case, the voltage drop across the internal resistance is going to be really small. So this is equal to 5 volts minus 0 0.0005 volts. So this is equal to 4.9995 volts. So in essence, the voltmeter is not going to be able to tell the difference between 5 volts or 4.9995 volts. So in essence, you're going to see a 5 volt potential difference across the battery. So with a large load resistance, you can see that in essence the battery acts as if it's a 5 volt battery because the internal resistance drop will be virtually insignificant. And that gives you a feel of how current meters and voltmeters affect the circuit. If you can see, if you have a large, uh, a large load resistance here, then the voltage drop across the battery is virtually nil. The voltage drop across the 
uh, current meter is virtually zero as well and the current meter will really read the accurate current and the voltmeter will read an accurate voltage across here. So now what will happen when we put the voltmeter across the low resistor? What will we read then? Now that's going to be a new video and that's going to be the next video on this series how do voltmeters and current meters affect the circuit. So take a look at our next video and see what happens then.